Hi, I'm George, founder and CEO of Pather. Pather is less than a year old, uh, but this journey began for me right here at the Media Lab in 2009, where I was lucky enough to step into one of the most incredible data sets ever collected. Three years of audio and video uh, from Deb Roy's home. I immediately became interested in how people moved through the home, and this was the very first visualization uh, I created of that data set, which eventually made it into Deb's TED Talk. Later, I began working with Bank of America, still here at the lab, doing all sorts of interesting analyses. In this case, understanding customer behavior and how we could segment that behavior into things that the bank cared about, like loan applications, based only on those customer paths through the space. Also created heat maps, lots and lots of heat maps. Later, when I left the lab, uh, I played a, a role in helping to make heat maps and other basic metrics the industry standard way to consume full store analytics. Retailers loved heat maps. In many cases, this was the first time they had any view into customer behavior through their stores. Heat maps had, uh, had various problems, though. For one, the picture looks more like that. It required lots and lots of cameras. And if you're a district manager with 50 stores, it's difficult to know how to use that to sell more pants on Tuesday. And if you're the CIO of a national chain, a thousand heat maps just isn't a thing. And finally, heat maps are pretty good at reporting the news. They don't do much to create it, and they definitely can't predict it. Enter Pather. We're building a real-time spatial intelligence platform. So what is spatial intelligence? Well, we define it as understanding behaviors and interactions between people, products, and the environment in order to infer meaningful insights. If you can understand how customers flow through a retail store, for example, you can use that in order to help retailers sell more products. That's spatial intelligence. This is an artist rendition of the architecture of our system. Uh, but you'll notice over there to the left is our sensor layer. This is where we generate location data using existing devices in a retail store or in other environments. That location data flows into our behavior engine. This is where our special sauce lies and where we use machine learning in order to understand that location data to address various use cases. Results from the behavior engine flow out into the world in ways that work with our customer's IT rather than against it in either real time or post hoc. So here's an example of one of the many things that our behavior engine can use machine learning to understand. In this case, automatically, in real time, we're finding instances of staff and customer interactions. As we quantify and evaluate those interactions, we can help a retailer understand which interactions are most effective in order to better train their staff to convert more. As this unfolds, we'll notice some of the patterns here. This is a bike shop in San Francisco, and one of the things that you'll see is that their staff is not interacting with customers very much towards the back of the store where the accessories are. This is customers asking each other which sorts of pants you're meant to wear for mountain biking or what kind of grips you need on the road bike. Those things are bad for business. And so we were able to help this retailer uh, better train their staff in order to more effectively sell product. Again, I'm George, founder and CEO of Pather, real-time spatial intelligence applied. If you have physical spaces or you know somebody who does, you'd like to figure out how to use spatial intelligence to make those spaces work for you, please don't hesitate to reach out either afterwards or by email. Thank you. Thank you.